Hey guys, Knife Detector here. So a quick review on this knife. And as some of you guys know, I have taken a liking to these elephant toe knives, but most of them are out of my price range. So previously I did a video on a Ridge Runner knife, and this knife happens to be a Rough Rider. I got this knife as part of a three knife lot for about $29. So I guess depending on shipping and all of that, I ended up paying probably about 12 bucks for this knife. And let me tell you, I'm really not disappointed. I do like this knife, so I'm gonna go over some of the features I like. Uh, unlike the Ridge Runner, the blades on this knife, both of them open and close very smoothly and easily. The other feature that I do like about this knife is that uh, the springs are not uh, terribly thick. Uh, one of them is just as thick as the other one, but as you can see, the tolerances are much closer on this knife. Also, the second spring, is much thinner for the secondary blade right here. Now this net, this blade also is made in China, just like uh, the Ridge Runner. However, the fit and finish of the Rough Rider I find is uh, slightly better. And this particular knife has this tortoise shell handle that I believe is made with a substance called Curanite, which is a synthetic knife substance. And it functions very nicely, guys. So as you can see here on the blade, we also have a Rough Rider emblem. Uh, tested Rough Rider Sharp right there. Please excuse the shakiness of the video as I am holding it with my left hand. It's just a quick video. I like the deep uh, nail grooves right there uh, so you can get a good hold of that. Um, fit and finish of this knife is very nice and it does appear to be thinner than uh, the Ridge Runner. I believe they might be the same company guys or at least the same makers uh, because this appears to be the exact same knife only it's uh, just a little bit better. And I'm very impressed with the quality of this knife. This kind of makes me think that maybe I don't have to buy an expensive one. Uh, but I don't know. I'm falling in love with these elephant toe knives, guys. They're easy to carry, uh, very utilitarian. Um, as you can hear by the snap, you know, that knife has decent snap. It's not an imperfect knife, you know. And in the Kira Knight, there is a couple of, of uh, barely noticeable smoothness issues and um but it's stuff that i can live with and i plan on putting this in my pocket anyway and for a knife that probably cost me like 12 bucks total you can't beat this guys you can't beat this um but that doesn't stop me from investigating this even further i've been carrying this for about a week and i might do like a month follow-up or a year follow-up on these knives but but honestly you know so far i'm very impressed and uh, happily pleased with these but I do have my eyes currently on a Shet Morgan knife that I am bidding on on eBay that I fall in love with. So let's see how that goes. Um, I have not spent more than $50 for a knife ever in my life, but I may have to bite the bullet on this one and pay a little bit more. So if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And if you're interested in knowing if I won the Shet Morgan or uh, how much I paid for it, uh, stay tuned for my next few videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. Until then, this is Knife Detector saying, stay sharp, my friends. God bless you and your family. Thank you. Hey, guys. Knife Detector here. I just wanted to add that I've put several knives for sale in my eBay site. So if you want to uh, take a look and see, you might see something you like. Um, I have several knife lots along with uh, several different knives. Have a few knives also on my Etsy site. So click on the link if you want to check out some cool knives. And as always, God bless and take care.